All right, everybody, what is going on? What is going on? We're taking a look at the other LR that came out during the anniversary. This is the LR Gammas, or I guess the other LR that came out in part two of the anniversary. But anyway, we've got the LR Gammas here. Mine are at 79%. Do have them at full level 10 links. Uh, I went ahead and gave them mostly dodge um, with secondary additional. Um, and then I do have their exclusive equipment orbs on them. If you uh, haven't seen my video on stage three of the memorable battles event that is up on the channel, that is where you earn these orbs. I believe it is for clearing the stage. You get the bronze, uh, clear the stage without items, you get the silver, and then clear the stage with one of every, like, super class, or, well, I think it's just one of every typing. AGL, tech, STR, int, physical. Did I forget one? But anyway, but all, all of the typings have to be on your team. And that'll get you the other orbs, so that, that's that's what we got rocking here. Um, pretty minimal crit is what I gave them. They only have the crit from the skill orbs right here. Um, the reason for that is in their passive, they do get tr crit chance per um, int orb or STR or AGL orb in their passive. So um, don't really need to go a ton of crit on them. Uh, but I wanted to give them their special orbs right here for the extra additional chances. I, I figured getting them up to 15 additional would be pretty good. And then the bronze orb is just kind of whatever. I, I figured the extra defense could help them out. So uh, this D, th this unit is really, really good. Um, they're definitely not like as good as Beast, but they are still a very, very solid option. And they're going to be great on the superheroes team and um, any other team that you can run them on. Specifically, superheroes, joined forces, or defenders of justice. Those are the categories that they do give 3 key and 50% attack and defense support to. So those are generally the characters that you're going to want to have them around. Um, the other nice thing about this character is that they do kind of revitalize Gamma 1 a little bit. I'm being a little bit risky here, and I'm bringing Gamma 2 on the team just to see how he will do. Um, unfortunately, we got these guys on turn 2, and we got Gamma one, or Gamma 2 on turn 1, and then Gamma 1 in slot 7. So, like, we, our, our Gammas, who we want to be running next to these guys, are just all split out all over the place. But, anyway, they are starting out here at 361k defense. Um, I'm trying to remember what they get here. I believe they get, what is it? Uh, I think that's really all they get. So they're passive. They get three key at 125% attack and defense. Additional three key and 125% attack and defense when HP is 30% or more. They give their 50% support. They have some additionals in their passive. They get some crit chance in their passive. Uh, and then they do get 50% attack and defense and 30% damage reduction starting from the turn in which we perform three attacks in battle. So after doing three attacks, we'll get a multiplicative 50% buff. So that, you know, that'll be definitely pretty good. And then we do get 50% on their 18 key super attack and 30% on their 12 key super attack. So uh, they're, they're going to be all right. We're, we're, we're going to be all right right here. Now, I am going to bust up these tech orbs a little bit to kind of give us a better grouping here. Uh, looks like we can get probably five STR orbs. It's, that's probably going to be the better option right here. Can't quite get to full 24 key. That's okay. Um, here pretty soon we'll get the gammas next to them. Ne well, we'll get the other gammas next to these gammas, and then they'll definitely be in a better spot. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Beast gives three key whenever he gets hit to the um, other two units on rotation. So that's, uh, we, we were actually able to get them to 24 key right here. So uh, how many orbs did we get? We got like four STR orbs and like one rainbow. So with four STR orbs, we're going to have like a 48% chance to crit. And we will have um, two additionals that have a great chance of being a super attack. So we'll see. We'll see what we end up getting right here. All right. This isn't going to do any damage to us. Uh, Vegeta made the mistake of supering Beast. Yep. Nothing to do there. So they start out at a 7.79 million attack stat. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, by the way, I am going to do this Vegeta fight, but I will probably hop into another fight afterwards um, where I can show them off. This Vegeta fight is good. But it's better for units maybe like Beast who don't really have a lot of buildup and are just kind of ready to go. Um, since the Gammas have this, they have their standby and they have their, um, you know, like the Gamma 1 just by himself. You know, this unit really wants to be in kind of a longer fight. So I might hop into a different event after this. Maybe the uh, maybe the Broly Memorial Battle or the Gogeta Memori Memorable Battle. Or, I, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe the God Goku stage of here. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, potentially, you know, I could just stay in this stage, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, now, their standby. They can go into their standby for four turns. Um, you can do that either the turn after you perform three attacks or um, when HP is 70% or less. So, potentially, you could do it on turn one if you were to take a, a lot of damage. So that's pretty good. Um, I'll go ahead and cut right here. We're probably going to kill Vegeta on this turn anyway, um, but I'll go ahead and cut right here and we will come back with um, Gammas on rotation. 
All right, so here we go. We've got the Gammas. We've got Beast and we've got Gamma 2 here. So um, I'm probably going to pop the Gammas standby and throw them in slot 1. I'm a little nervous about Gamma 2. I think he'll be okay um, as long as he doesn't eat the super attack. And the nice thing is he does have the 70% chance to nullify the super. So we could be fine. Um, but I'm going to go ahead here and uh, let, let's turn their active skill or their standby on and let's go ahead and play this. <laughs> Alright, so Gamma 2 is going to charge up. Gamma 2 um, increases his charge count every single time we perform an attack in battle here. So the more additionals that we are doing, the um, higher that this goes up right here. So you can see... Um, uh, what is it? Yeah, can be activated when charge count is one or more, uh, and then that's what the effect does right there. So, and then right there, you can see per attack performed by allies, um, the, the charge count goes up. So, uh, these guys, now that they're into their standby, they're still pretty similar to what they were before. Um, they do just have straight up 250% like to stats and 50% damage reduction, um, so that, that's pretty good. They get 50% attack and defense when attacking. Uh, they're still giving the superheroes support, superheroes joint forces, and defenders of justice. Um, they have a 30% chance to crit and launches an additional super attack, um, up to two per int key sphere obtained. So we really just want to grab these right there. That'll be our two that we need. Um, and then the same thing with the AGL or SDR key spheres. So when you can, you want to try to get them the int key spheres like this right here. Um, but when you cannot, you want to try to go for AGL or STR. So that that's you know that's still three out of the five orb types plus rainbow. Um, so, that, you know, that, that, that does give you a little bit of flexibility. I should have shown what their defense was right here, but because it's going to be a lot higher um, than what it was last turn because we do have their Gamma Links activated now. Um, but that's okay. So they shoot out a 13.4 million attack stat right here. That is uh, pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. And we have, what, two guaranteed additionals coming in after this uh, because we got the two Int Orbs. So uh, we're going to have that super attack. We have this one right here. We have one more coming in because of the Int Orb. And then we could do the Hidden Potential as well. Um, that's another reason why you don't really need to go, um, super high on their hidden potential chances, uh, or, like, on their hidden potential additional chance, because, like, uh, they've already got so many built-in additionals that each one of those is gonna have a... Whenever you get an attack, it procs, like, that's what causes the proc of the hidden potential attack. Um, so, like, the more attacks you're doing on a turn, the higher chance you have of getting the hidden potential attack, basically. Um... So that, that's why, like, you don't, for a unit that has a bunch of built-in additionals, like, you don't need to go a ton of extra additional on them, because they're going to be rolling that chance multiple times per turn. Gamma 2 is looking really good right here, by the way. I mean, that's the, that's the effect of getting 50% support and, like, a perfect linking partner. So, you know, if we can get Gamma 1 on this rotation as well, I mean, that, that's going to be even better, so. Alright, Gamma 2, that's okay. I assume he's going to be in a spot to eat normals. Yeah, look at that, double digits from normals for Gamma 2 right here. Very good, very good. Um, and remember, he would have had a, what is it, a 70% chance to nullify Vegeta's super attack, because, um, he does have a 70% chance to nullify Key Blast super attacks, and that final flash is a, uh, Key Blast, obviously, so. Alright, cool, um, I'm gonna cut one more time right here, and we will come back. Hopefully, we're not gonna kill Vegeta right here, I'll try not to. Um, and then we will pop the standby with the Gammas, and then we're, that will definitely kill Vegeta. So from there, I will go into a different event. All right, so here we are back on rotation, and we can use the uh, the Gamma's, whatever, their explosion, the, the final sacrifice, whatever you want to call it for Gamma 2 right here. Um, so here they are at 495k defense right here, pretty much 496, so uh, not too bad. Remember that they do have 50% damage reduction right here, but uh, whenever we use this, it's not really going to matter because it's going to exchange him into Gamma 1. So let's go ahead. Uh, this will probably just KO Vegeta, just heads up on that, and then uh, from there... You know, we'll watch the KO screen, whatever, and then I will just cut into a different event.
right, so here we are getting some more footage of the Gammas. I decided to hop into the uh, Beerus Red Zone fight. So here they are at 464k defense. Again, just in their first phase. Nothing crazy going on right here. Uh, hopefully we don't get super attacked in slot one. That would probably just kill us, I think. I don't remember how hard this Beerus hits, but um, I, I would just prefer not to get super. That'd be pretty cool. All right, nice. Very good. So hopefully this Beerus fight will go on long enough for me to actually get their um, exchange into Gamma 1. Uh, so that we can get some footage of him. You know, maybe this fight isn't long enough for that. I, I, I thought it would be. But we'll see. We'll see. I mean, we have a lot of damage dealers on the team. Uh, you know, it's just like I can only hold back so much with like the beast skill ones, right? Like, they, there's only there's only so much I can do. Um, whenever we've got like them and the Gogetas running around, it's it, it just like, I'm sorry. Like, there's, on, there's only so much I can do, guys. Uh, the Gammas look good, really good there, by the way. Like, if, you, if you haven't noticed, they, they look really good. Um, very, 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 very awesome unit. The other thing, too, is remember that they are supporting Gamma 2 by 50%, and the, uh, the Krillin and 18 at the end, they're also giving them 50% support, so, uh, definitely a very, very, very incredible unit. We love them. We love the Gammas here. All right, we're doing zero to Beerus. That's, that's actually probably good. Well, other than we got his Fury activated, but, uh, whatever. Uh, is this a super? No, okay. Uh, Krillin and 18 just need to dodge. I mean, that's the important thing here. We'll see what happens. We'll see. We'll see. Very nice. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully we'll be able, we'll be we should be able to get their standby on the next turn. Um, so and then uh, you know hopefully we just don't kill Beerus. But I don't know. Beerus is pretty tanky in his uh, this form, whatever you want to call it, right here. Uh, does he cancel dodging? Right? Yeah, he cancels dodging. So we do need to use the Beast Active skill here. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'll just skip and we'll come back whenever the gammas are on rotation. All right, so here we go. We're gonna get the standby again. Uh, I guess we can play it again. It is their video. Don't want to uh, steal their thunder away too much. Uh, their OST is really good, by the way. I, I like their, um, what is it, like the finish skill OST as well. Uh, that one, it, that one's a little goofy, though, but I mean, it, it's it's still good. Um, let's go ahead, so we're at about the same defensive level, but Gamma 1's, like, not built up, so after he gets a few hits, he should be better. Uh, we'll see. I mean, maybe this is a mistake. Uh, we're, we can only get one orb. That's actually probably fine. I don't know. I think there's a chance that we kill Beerus on this turn. We'll see. Um, we will see. We will see. All right, so very nice. Gamma 1 is at double digits already. That's really good. Um, 12.4 million from Gamma 1. It's actually insane how well, like, he's aged. Uh, I mean, of course, you know, the unit with guard and 50% damage reduction and, like, really good defense is going to age well. But, you know, if you had asked me if he was going to survive this long, like, if he was going to survive long enough for us to get, like, actual real superhero movie units in the game, I, I don't know that I would have said, yeah, like, yeah, he'll last that long. Like, like, he had a really, really good design on release, defense raising on super attack, again, guard and damage reduction. Um, but, you know, getting a perfect linking partner that's giving him 50% support, I guess, also does help. So, you know, definitely. And then just having that really good link set, um, like a lot of their links, a lot of the Android links give defense. So, really good, really good right here. Uh, it'll depend on what Gamma 2 does, but again, we could just kill Beerus here. We'll see. Looks like he's going to give us a barrage of normals, so that, that's fine. But... You know, if he had gone crazy and given us, like, you know, a bunch of crit super attacks, we probably could have just taken out Beerus. I, I know I keep saying that, but, uh, pretty, pretty sure that that is true. Not really afraid of the super attack either. Um, I, I think he could eat it well. Okay, just no super attack? Cool. Well, uh, again, I... Um, hmm. This is a interesting predicament here. Okay, well, uh, I'm not gonna... Again, I'll just cut and we'll come back. I'll either kill Beerus on this turn with the Beast Gohans... Which is, you know, obviously not my intention, but, you know, it may just happen anyway. Um, I guess, you know what, let's just, let's just see. Let's see what happens. Um, I, I don't want to put the beasts in slot one because that would give them their additional. I, I know I can't dodge, but I'm just going to hope that Beerus isn't immediately super attacking. I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to have to hope that that isn't the case. So we'll see, we'll see. As long as this isn't an immediate super, we should be fine. Yeah, okay. 194k obviously isn't good, but, you know, we, we survived. 
after they super attack, I they should be able to eat normals. I don't know if they could eat a super attack, especially after eating, you know, 200k on a normal. All right, well, if this kills us, whatever. I'll just cut and we'll go into the breakdown. I'll be using the gammas throughout the entire anniversary, so if we don't get one little piece of their kit in the video, I'll be sure to get it as I use them throughout the uh, throughout the rest of the anniversary. And just, you know, we're going to be using them a lot, so. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cut here. We're going to move into the breakdown. Uh, and listen, guys, thanks for watching. All right, this is Radiantly Shining Heroes Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 slash Gamma 1. This is, a, this is a really goofy name, but this also does mean that eventually they could just give us a Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 card. That would be different. Like, like they could just give us a Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. So that'd be pretty good. Uh, leader skill is superheroes key, 3, 200% to stats. Uh, I really wish that it was like anything else. Like joined forces would have been really good. And well, like if it would have been one of these... Uh, like Defenders of Justice. I, I think Defenders of Justice would have been really good, especially with us getting like Topo and uh, Jiren this year as well. I think that would have been a really good 200%. Um, their 12 key super attack, the victory combo, um, raises attack and defense by 30% for one turn. The ultra super attack, the super gamma blast, uh, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. That's a 50% raise. Passive skill, we kind of already went over it, but just to go over it again, key three, 125% to stats. Additional three key and 125% of stats on HP is 30% or more. Um, so at, you know, above 30% HP, you're going to have six key and 250% of stats. Um, and then they also give these categories right here, uh, three key and 50% of stats. So that's actually, they're going to be starting at nine key, 300% of stats with all of this active right here. Um, chance for forming a crit plus 30% and launches an additional super attack up to two um, within the turn per int key sphere obtained. So you want to try to get two int key spheres with them. Uh, four would be guaranteed crits. So, but you know, two is still just a 60% chance, which is really good, which is also why you don't need to give them pretty much any crit in the hidden potential system because they already have a ton built in here. The only thing crit in their hidden potential system would really help them out for would be the finish skill. Um, getting the crit on like the, uh, you know, gamma two sacrifice that that would be the reason to give them crit. Um, but anyway, chance to crit plus 12% and launches an additional attack. There's a great chance of being a super attack up to twice, um, per AGL or STR key sphere obtained. So if you can't get int, you want to try to go for AGL or STR, uh, additional 50% attack and defense. That's a multiplicative buff right here. So that will not add in with these other buffs here. It'll be a multiplicative buff to those, uh, and 30% damage reduction starting from the turn in which the character performs their third attack in battle. So that's pretty good. Um, it, it's going to be pretty easy to get these guys three attacks in battle. I mean, that's just like pretty much just one AGL orb or one a STR orb or one int orb plus a hidden potential attack. Uh, that That's not going to be super uncommon. So either two int, two AGL or two STR orbs, uh, you, it's going to be really easy to get. Uh, the standby enters the standby mode for four turns. Uh, you get um, uh, one additional charge count per attack performed by allies. So the more attacks you do, um, the more damage the, you know, Gamma 2 sacrifice is going to do. Uh, and you can go into the standby when HP is 70% or less at the start of turn or after the character performs three or more attacks and battles. So really, really easy condition here. Uh, these are their links. You do want to link level the gammas, like more so than like a bunch of other units. These guys do get a, a ton of benefit from links. You can see right here, Android Assault goes from 10% defense to two key at 20% defense. Uh, Red Ribbon Army goes from 10% attack to 10% attack and defense. Shocking Speed gets defense. Hero of Justice gets some crit chance, signature pose. Uh, gets an extra key, fierce battle, doesn't really matter, legendary power doesn't really matter, but, you know, like, these top three links right here are all giving extra defense, so you want to make sure that you get these guys link leveled, uh, and then, of course, their best linking partners are just going to be other gamma units, other android units, things like that, so, um, gamma one, I, I would say, is pretty viable next to them, so if you can run gamma one, go for it, um, all right, so here's their standby, um, their super attack effects basically remain the same, um, but they do gain raises super class allies defense by 50% for one turn. Um, so they're actually getting a massive raise now because like notice this is not self excluded. So they're getting 100% defense now on their 18 key while also giving allies on the turn an additional 50%. So that's pretty good. Um, they just get the six key two fifty percent and 50% damage reduction start a turn. They get 50% attacking defense when attacking. Uh, they still get their support. So again, that's nine key 300% to stats still. That's good. Um, and then this is all basically the same right here as it was before. So, um, the, the, these two bullet points are still just the do crits and do additionals per int STR or, um, AGL keys for your obtained. Uh, we already talked about the finish effect. And so let's go into gamma one. This is what gamma looks like. Um, after you do the sacrifice, you get this card. Um, this guy is really, really good. So now he raises super class allies defense by 50% for two turns. So that's really the only change here is, um, 
you know, this goes from one turn to two turns. So that that's obviously very, very good. Um, three key, 150% attack and defense and 15% damage reduction. Additional three key, 150% attack and defense and 15% damage reduction whenever HP is 30% or more. So again, that's um, six key, 300% to stats and 30% damage reduction damage reduction um 50 percent multiplicative buff uh he's still giving the support by the way so you know 350 percent of stats and nine key at the start of turn is pretty good um plus 30 percent damage reduction launches an additional super attack guaranteed changes agl key spheres to int chance of performing a critical hit plus 20 percent up to 100 uh, plus an additional damage reduction of 10 percent up to 50 per int key sphere or str key sphere obtains so you know baseline 30 percent damage reduction and you can get up to 80 percent from um this this right here and he does create the orbs so uh gamma one is very 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 powerful link skills do not change as far as i remember so this is all the same right here um let me know what you guys think about the gammas let me know if you summon for them let me know if you did end up pulling them i think they are a fantastic unit and this guy if you can get him out in some of these longer fights this guy right here is going to be a real real monster so let me know what you guys think thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time